Hi guys, this is Denissa. Uh, I am coming to you with a, another video about my um, Accutane journey. Um, I have been taking Accutane for a week now. Um, today is the seventh day and I am taking the my Myuricin brand of Accutane. Um, and like I said, today's my seventh day and um, this is what my skin is looking like. I have a few little bitty some things. One here, one there. Um, I had felt something else somewhere, but um, it's like I had some little teeny weeny things. I had one here like yesterday pop up and it went away. This is like hard, like something might pop up and it gets hard and goes away. This one feels like a in the skin one, like a cystic one, but it's not horrible. It hasn't gotten out of control. But other than that, um, this is my face. There, there's a little one here, but it's not really much. But um, so um, my face had start peeling like probably about the, the fourth or fifth day, just teeny weeny, a um, little bit of peeling right here on my forehead, a little bit of white spot, very little here on my nose. But it was nothing. It was like in the morning when I woke up and then after I washed my face later on in the day, I noticed a, a little bit, you know, of the dryness, but it, it wasn't horrible. Um, I'm, I'm thinking at night I might try to use like some um, grapeseed oil and then use my Cerave um, over, excuse me, first use my, yes, the grapeseed oil on my face and then um, some Cerave, maybe. I don't know yet. Um, so far, it's, so, it's, it's fine. It's just like um, my skin's soft and it feels like when I just use the Cerave, like a little like, kind of like a little matte feeling a little bit. Um, my hands are clean. I just uh, got out of the shower, so. And I'm sitting down to work, but I figured I'd, uh, or finish my work, but I figured I'd, I'd do a, a quick video for you guys. But anyways, I'll just show you what, um, the products that I'm using to survive this. Um, so first of all, I'm using the Cerave Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. And at first I would have thought this would have never done anything because it just doesn't feel like it gets soaked up or anything. But honestly, my face is super soft after I use it and it like creamy. Um, it feels good, it feels clean and I like it. But I have little samples um, that I had uh, received from my dermatologist's office. Um, I use those and then I use this. The reason why it's uh, kind of, you know, empty, you know, it's about down to here because my daughter was using it before and she liked it. Um, I was using some other product before I um, got on the Accutane, something very expensive that I had received from an esthetician that just, it was like spinning my wheels because I needed um, to get the inside taken care of in order for the outside to be able, for anything to work on the outside. So that's why I decided to do the Accutane, um, the Myuricin brand is what I was prescribed. Anyway, so um, so the Cerave Hydrate and Clean Cleansing, um, excuse me, Cream to Foam Cleanser, I use this day and night um, to clean my face with. Um, then I use the Cerave um moisturizing cream i use this day and night also um my dermatologist gave me a sample of the nighttime um cerave um in the tube but it's too thin and it doesn't coat your face like this it's like you put it on and it's like like it wears off after you start rubbing it in but this it really keeps your face um hydrated i think like soft and, and it's thick um, so I use this day and night. Also, the lady at my dermatologist's office said that she also uses um, this instead of the night. And I, and I see why. I'm going to put my glasses back on because I'm blind and I can't see. <laughs> anyway, so um, also another thing that I um, use if it's during the day, I just, well, first of all, let me say, um, I was using this Neutrogena. Um, clear body oil free sunscreen um and one one day last week i or was it this week i don't know it was one day over the weekend or whatever this week i was going to the gym 
and I put a bunch of this on trying to do the right thing because before I obviously probably wasn't putting enough on. So I tried to put a good amount on and rub it in. I was looking casket ready. I was like, I'm not using this stuff no more. Like, I, I can't. I was like, and right then and there, um, I had Googled um, sunscreens like for, for um, African-American skin or, or, you know, ethnic skin for black skin, basically. And um, a search came up for black girl sunscreen. And I was like, oh, I'm going to check this out as soon as I come from the gym. And um, anyway, I have been Googling sunscreen for our skin for a long time, but um, it was nothing ever formulated. And uh, apparently this just came out because um, I've been looking, looking at videos for months, but this is the bomb. Like I would put it on my face, but I just washed my face. My face is clean. Um, but tomorrow, maybe I'll do a video. I'll do a video maybe within the next few days, maybe tomorrow. Um, before I go out, I will try to do a video with this, um, do a review. It is amazing. If you have dark skin, ethnic skin, and you're used to the chalkiness of the, of the regular sunscreens, um, this, it, it goes on white like the other sunscreens, but it rubs in and your face is like this, but it's moisturized. It has moisture in it. Your face is, is hydrated and it stays like that. It, I'm telling you, and I put a lot on. I put a lot on. Shoot, probably a, I don't know. I put a good amount on my face. I'll show you um, in, in another video. But I put a lot on and rub it in. It's super white, and then it just melts into your skin. And I haven't had any breakouts or anything from it. So um, it's called Black Girl Sunscreen. And this is, um, on the back of it, it says uh, Bye Bye Umbrella. But anyway, it's moisturizing sunscreen lotion for face and body. Um, broad spectrum SPF 30 infused with jojoba. Oh, shoot. I'm not even in it. <laughs> Excuse me. This is only my, I'm, I'm new to this. So let's, let's put it in, 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 into uh, the video. But anyway, it, um, let's see. It's, um, uh, and it's infused with jojoba and avocado water resistant 80 minutes. Um, oxybenzone and oxybenzone. To octinoxate, octinoxate free, ultra sheer, no white residue, fragrance free. This is the bomb. I'm telling you, I don't feel um, like I don't break. I'm not breaking out so far. Um, I, my skin's not irritated because with Accutane, they say your skin can be very irritated with stuff, and I can see that because um, I feel like my allergies has been acting up, and certain stuff that I've put on or on my hair or anywhere. Um, it's got me itching, especially around here. And I don't know if it is the, um, if it's the Accutane or if it's just my allergy, allergies. And it could be a combination of both. But um, anyway, I, I'm eczema prone, which I haven't had any of that happen in a while, but knock on wood. But so anyway, any type of sometimes sense just really just irritate my skin, period. Just that's what it does. So anyway, so um, I'll use this on my face. Um, and so that I'm not wasting this because I got this at Target and it was like $19.99. Um, and it's three ounces. Um, it's $19.99 for it, but you know what? It's well worth it. We finally have our own sunscreen and I feel like it's going to last for a while. I don't know how, how much it's going to last with the Accutane, but I, I'm using it. And I feel good. I feel radiant. I feel beautiful with it on, to be honest, because like my skin is hydrated and shining. Like, You'll see when I do the next video. Like I said, it's it it feels good. It's not overly shiny. It's it's perfect. You don't have any type of that white chalky under your skin. You don't look you know dead. You look alive, and you look you look like you just living life. Like you feeling good. All of that. Like I love it. I, I feel good. And with this, um, honestly, I'm feeling good. My skin. I feel like it's. I'm glad that I'm I chose to do the Accutane. I'm I'm excited. I I feel like my I don't know. I feel like I can tell a little difference already. You guys might not be, but I really can looking in the mirror that I feel like my skin has more of a glow to it. I don't know. Something is happening, I'm telling you. And it's internally. Something that I've lacked before. I've always done the the um try to do the external, but no, it's it's internal. It, it, it's time. Anyway, like I said, I'm getting ready to be 41 on Monday, the 23rd of August, and 
I'm not, I'm not doing bumps anymore. I'm I, like, I'm done with bumps. No more bumps for me. Like I'm getting my face clear. I'm getting my, just everything together. I've been going to the gym, um, everything. And I mean, it all goes together. Your, your face, um, the, your confidence, your body, getting your body together, getting your mind together, your spirit together, all of that, it all comes together. It's like a little Christmas package wrapped with a nice big bow on it. I love it. Anyway, so another thing that I'm using also is the Aquaphor. Um, that, this is just a small little sample that they gave me a couple of these at the um, dermatologist's office, but I use it on my lips. I have some on now. I, this feels good before. I was just like, what is this going to do? Because my kids use the, the little Vaseline um, and the little, in the little um, you know, little jar. And that stuff feels thin. And my lips be still crusty and feel like little spikes be poking out through it. You know what I'm saying? But this actually does work. It's thick and it feels good on. Um, but it said it's advanced therapy for dry, cracked, and irritated skin. I've used it on tattoos before and it worked, but on my lips, never. But I am loving it. And I know a lot of people have sworn by it being on Accutane. I'm going to go get a bigger one. As you can see, this mug has um, been used. But they gave me a couple of them. This one's still good. I keep this in my desk drawer at, um, at work, you know, while I'm here working. But... Listen, after Accutane, I'm going to probably use these. I wish I could find these little bitty ones like that. They're, they're great. But anyways, I use them on my lips, and I put it in the cracks and everything because I don't need no cracks in my lips because everybody's talking about how horrible their lips crack and in between there, and I don't I don't need that. Also, um, I take and put some on a Q-tip and swirl it inside of my nostrils um, day and night or even in, in the midday, whatever, because I don't want my nose to get dry because they said your nose could start bleeding and, you know, getting cracks in there and my nose bleeds sometimes for no reason. And I don't need that in my life. So use it, put it in your nose. It feels good. And then sometimes when I'm itchy around it, like I feel a little itchy now, I might extend a little Vaseline a little bit out there or the Aquaphor, excuse me. I don't know. I, it, it's like allergies. The allergies are kicking my butt already, but Anyway, so I also use this Bliss Deck, and this mug is old, so look at it, it's faded. Don't don't come for me. <laughs> but it has SPS 15, and it is Bliss Deck's medicated. But the thing about it is, I wish it was plain because it's kind of irritating my lips a little bit. Like, I'll put it on, it's okay, but sometimes a little tingly of the, the medicine, mm -mm, I could do without it. So um, I might try, um, you know, like uh, the Carmex, the little, the one with the little black on it. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty good and it's plain. And maybe if they have a Blistex plain, but it's very hydrating though on your lips. So I haven't got crusty lips yet and knock on wood, don't need them. I need to have my stuff soft as usual. Anyways, I, I had got this from, it's Nature's Bees Cocoa Butter Olive Oil. I don't know, I got this at a, like um because i'm in indianapolis so i got this from like a black expo event or something like that where they were selling i think an african lady or something was selling these or whatever or something or giving it away in a bag or something and i just found it because i'm always having chapstick because i don't do crusty lips so i found this in one of my purses then i put this mug on and it's actually pretty hydrating actually i like it better than this because this got that little medicine stuff in it it, it kind of irritate my lips and like I said, it could be the allergies, could be a combination of that and the Accutane, but uh-uh. I'm mostly using this on my lips. And when I'm at my desk, I'm using this or I'll throw some of that on. So I, and I may throw this on at nighttime 